Hello, welcome to GZ Surface Hour Learning. Today, I'm going to focus on Surface Hour translations. If you work for the global company, we really understand, you know, global translation is very important for global company. If you have knowledge base, ADSAM, for example, instance, and especially for knowledge base, like our company, and we, we have requirement. We really want knowledge base can be translated based on different countries. And for the service now, they have called dynamic translation. This occasion really can help you automate translate to different languages based on your localizations. Today, I'm going to focus on how can we use dynamic translation to automate your translation for knowledge article. In, in order to do automate translations, we need to have few configurations and plugins need to be activated. That's, here is a list of you know, plugins like dynamic translations, knowledge management advanced, as well as language plugs based on a country's need to be activated. We call uh, in ATN knowledge base management internationalization plugs. In addition, you need to enable GLAD Norman translation, enable translation test into true. And the final one, you need to use translation service do the translations. Currently, we have three vendors, IBM, Google, and Microsoft. Um, I, I just configured IBM. You can follow the knowledge base, do the con configuration, create an account in the translation service, and uh, to connect to that services you can use. I think it's free for personal instance, but for the company, you gotta pay a certain money based on uh, the license. Okay, then let's go to, before I start demo, and if you want to review more advanced search now videos, and I have a lot of advanced videos in my YouTube channel. If you subscribed my YouTube channel, you can review a lot of advanced videos, new features from since Paris and Quebec, uh, I strongly recommend you can subscribe to review as you want. Okay, let's begin the demo. First, log into your personal instance. And in the personal instance, go to knowledge based module. You can see here, I have knowledge base. Click knowledge base. And I'm going to, you can select any knowledge base you want. And I'm open the last one, knowledge base. In the knowledge base, I think as default um, view, I don't think you have language uh, field and auto create translation task field. And yeah, basically just go ahead to add these two field, go to configurations, um, form layout. To add the two field, and you can see and I have language I can add in Germany, German and English. That because I only, if you go to here, you can see I only activate a German internal in the language pack. And this, when you, for each localization language pack, it's, it will take time, like at least two hours to activate. And I think you should prepared before anything you start your configurations. Okay, I, I'm going to just add it, German and English, and check auto create translation. That'll be, you know, automated translation for this, if you check the checkbox. After I do that, I'm going to create new articles. I'm going to just create a new. And uh, I copy some content 
is COVID-19 vaccine questions. I'm just call COVID-19 And I'm going to save the record and click publish. When I publish this record, and will be able to trigger create translation tag. I'm going to go to click go to this task. You can see called on the trans trans language is German. I'm going to open this translation task. Um, then you can see called translate and click this your action button. You can see we have translation interface populate. You have English, how you can see translate from English and translate to German and show descriptions and article body. Yes, right now it's English, right? Then you just click machine translate. The reaction be override any exceeding translate content. It's just okay. Then you can see then your content short description it become you know ge ge German, you can see here, the all become in the body as well, all from English to uh, German. Okay, after you finish, you can, you can see on the here, you can create draft article. Just click this button. The article is draft is created. And uh, you can see on uh, Short description is German and the uh, body is German as well. I'm going to just click published. You can see the knowledge article has been published. You can see one is English, one is German. You can see after your configuration as mentioned, and it's easy to translates knowledge article to different languages. This is like German. When you, you know, if you open this language, you can see uh, it's German, right? But you may ask question, oh, the label is still English. And, but ServSol can translate label uh, based from the localization plugin we activated. You can just come to here and change from English to German. You can see label also can automatically translate to German as well. You can switch by different language from German and English. If you have Japanese, you can change to Japanese as well. And this is how you use current dynamic um, application in ServiceNow. L language is language localization plugin you call we call platform translation plugs and then you can use translate to knowledge automatic translate knowledge to different language but in addition this approach can use for customer services application cim also adsm h in the hisd and it's really useful and thank you for your watching